Welcome to Couch Dance. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I Are wasn't thinking for some reason. I didn't, ask, I didn't ask Greg. Are we doing a okay. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both Speed of her right. hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. There's always the honor. So, um, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned out uh, that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. I've heard cupcakes as well. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them waiting more, wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. I intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that one thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are, we, are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate uh, through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on top. Sorry, what are we about? Wow, that smells wonderful. Jazz. What kind of mood is that one for? <laughs> this is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Do you think they'll be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearing her mm. enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? <laughs> what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper on ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? We would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. We attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I, I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing that something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Greg. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Ah! The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out... Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. 
<sighs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. It suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides... <laughs> 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 I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. <laughs> Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> knife. <laughs> Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! <laughs> Greg! <laughs> Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. There's steel. A small <laughs> drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Without warning, Yuri puts my oh. finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel oh. her tongue curl around my finger. Damn. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. P please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri... That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Uh, Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh... She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Greg! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Uh. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Uh, <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> if not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Greg. Yuri giggles shyly. Uh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, I've already stopped bleeding. I see. <laughs> That's relieving. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> the tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all on side by side. It looks better than expected, and will be very effective as door curtain. It'll look great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. You ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint ta tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of water paint ta tablets. Uh, we'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you feel the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. <laughs> Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I, get, I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah. Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into cups. So... I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as color guide and when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class project yep. we had back then. Yep. It's relaxing. Ah, 
I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean it that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me? I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me that makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if you and I quite, are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. Sorry! <laughs> Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Oh. Master! Oh. Here, the I... Grizzly bear strikes a dog here in his face and neck with the towel. Greg ah. absolutely has that Doberman Is dog. Is something you know? wrong? <laughs> it's hot. I just didn't expect it. So sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. Uh, I back, keep my Jack, hand back. still <laughs> against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What, a, what is happening? Is it the <laughs> aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers, wrapped around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore that event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. Natural. <laughs> I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, <laughs> I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> We're done here. Let's go. See that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I well, see. Kind of I am too. Yeah. I was a little concerned about time. <laughs> I need to start making dinner soon. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have any time. I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well. Yeah. Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was hoping there Dude, would be just more take time the as pants well. Off. Oh my god. <laughs> it's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she was rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. 
Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I really don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Greg. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then I then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that oh, about Jesus. you. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get the chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Ah! Ah! Hi, Greg. Uh, Sayori! Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Greg. You just stop by to say hi? Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be able to be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, <laughs> so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri it's hurries off. <laughs> Sayori <laughs> waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Greg? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Greg. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Eh? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something yeah, that makes you should just happy. kill yourself. Jesus. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Greg. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that, Fortnite. that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Greg, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. <laughs> Full Yuri! No! 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 no. No! 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 <laughs> Does it actually change the story? Sort of. Me would know. Do you want an answer to that? I would don't answer that. Right. <laughs> I would not answer. Because it'll influence the decision. We don't want to influence. The yeah, decision. we don't want to influence any sort of decision here. <laughs> well, right now. I'll tell you after what's different with you. Wait, but now, now she's just gonna be depressed. Wait. No! <laughs> There's no right answer. <laughs> What's gonna- Oh my god! Shut down the game, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. Alt F4. I'm not- oh. oh my goodness. I love you. 
Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you truly are the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I'll know we'll both be happy. Great. I feel like she doesn't believe me. <laughs> Suddenly, some Harry drops radio. her arms tightly around me. That's great. That's great. Me. <laughs> Shit, there's a dog. Greg. <laughs> Greg got that dog. Really dog. Okay. Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Greg. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaking a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now. Why would the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Greg. It's okay, Sayori. <laughs> it might take some time for it's things to get better. Time. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. W with W slowly reach the football So I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> okay now bend over bitch. No we're in the street. Don't <laughs> even Stop. Really Leave her alone. Bush is right there. No. I don't think about those okay, the bushes. Stop. Was Leave the precious precious. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Greg. <laughs> so gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad? This is the best thing for me, right? Uh-huh. I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when Horny. you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. <laughs> you know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's why. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori means by not wanting to, anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll, it'll, I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. <laughs> Sayori isn't answering her phone. Dun, dun, dun. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget an anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way uh, as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the best, bitch. <laughs> Greg, how you been, buddy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that all uh, have all the poems we're going to perform. In the end, <laughs> I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. <laughs> you think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You should take a little responsibility for her, Greg. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. <laughs> you kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. E exchange? Monica, you knew about that? Of course I do. I was in the bushes. Did you hear me? <laughs> I'm the club president, after all. But, but... 
I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now. I didn't really what? plan on bringing a couple it up of homies with anyone yet. What's up, dog? Jeez, you don't know the full story at all. So, don't worry. I know everything. Oh, uh, Monica's being friendly as usual, but for, for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. <laughs> Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Really, really nice. I grabbed one of them plant pamphlets <laughs> laid out on the desk. They're really nice. <laughs> oh, Meg, yeah. Look at them. Up. Something like this will definitely help people take Should the I be club more seriously. Free? Hey. Yeah, I thought so, Fuck too. Fuck you, Monica. I flipped through <laughs> the pages. <laughs> Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? Need I that? flipped to Sayori's poems. Oh, poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head. I think we're good, friend. I think we're good. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Okay, get out of my head, get out of my head. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Before I knew what... Before I do what I know is best for you, before I listen to everything she said to me, before I show you how much I love you, before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Ah, uh, what is this? <laughs> Reading the poem, I got a pit in my stomach. Greg? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everyone else's. Sorry, nope. written. Wait, <laughs> oh, everything else. Okay. Yeah. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get go get Sayori, so... Ah, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her, or to help wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have dun, been. Dun, dun, that's all she needs, and that's what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer. She's not picking up her phone, either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all, waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? Don't in any rest. case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. <laughs> I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't this kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Sayori. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Jesus, what? <laughs> oh, we got him. <laughs> got him, boys. <laughs> You really left her hang hanger, didn't you? Yeah. Don't I mean, leave her hanging! You left the club to go hang out with her, so. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, the fucking music. What is this? No, there's three songs in this This is yeah. messed up. Yeah. What the hell? That's what great What is. the? This is a nightmare. It has to be. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I like fucking tink like. I haven't seen this in years. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen like the start to this. So, like the build so up. Long, fucking, but... I could feel my heart sink. I'm like, shit is coming. Yeah, I <laughs> 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 I'm going to take control of the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a bit paralyzed. <sighs> I forgot there was someone in the room that didn't know what was happening. Yeah. yeah. I forgot. <gasps> why did they, why did they do this? Oh, <laughs> it's not fair. I suppressed the urge to vomit just yesterday. I told Sayori I'd be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her, 
I should have confessed to her. Greg. That's not what Sayori needed at all. Greg. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. Swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I just spent more time with her. Walked her to school. Remained friends with her like it always has been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the Lantern Club! Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. The son I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This is some game where I can reset and try something different. What? I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. <laughs> now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 What do you mean it just ends like that? <laughs> it can't just end. Oh. Well, you're in luck. Because it's not over! Oh, oh, Monica! Uh, see you next time, see you everyone! Next Wait, what's happening? <laughs> there's, more, there's, more, there's other acts. <laughs>